Hold on, I need to start a party, make sure my audio is working. Alright. Anyways, guys, we're back with some more WWE 2K19 in my career. Gotta talk Triple H for I was reason. talking to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and I've decided that they're both going to get another shot at your U.S. title. D D Bruh, Sami Zayn legit had his chance already. I said they're both going to get a shot at your U.S. title in a two-on-one handicap match. If you thought the odds were against you in a fatal four-way, just wait until tonight. Oh, God. I saw you talking to Triple H. What was that all about? You want a shot at my U.S. title, If I wanted too? your U.S. title, I wouldn't need to ask anyone for permission. I'd just take it. Welcome Stay to try out of any my time. way unless you want an RKO. Screw you, Randy. All right, KO and After we insane. beat you tonight, we're going to be co-U.S. champions. If that somehow were to happen, I don't. I don't think it's fair. I mean, if Kevin pins me, shouldn't he be champion? And he vice makes versa. Points. It is only fair. He is just trying to drive us apart before the match. And besides, we had a deal all worked out in writing. I faxed it to you, remember? I don't have a fax machine. It's 2018. I'm pretty sure you do. It made the fax noise. Sammy, Sammy, stop. Sammy, I get it. Stop. I get it. So do we have a deal then? Co-champions? Yes, as long as you never make that noise again. So let's do. Were you a triple trying to figure out how you could cost me the U.S. title? Because nothing else he's tried has worked. Did you not hear me the first time? I said, "Stay out of my way." I'm brawling with Randy. Unless you want an RKO, I heard you. I'm brawling with Randy. And they're ready to go in the backstage area. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. And yes, I changed my attire also. Because I kind of wanted to, ch to change my attire. Um, yeah, I, wa I wanted to change my attire. So that's what I did. I don't know what you guys think of it. But I, I, it's actually alright. I, I kind of like it. I also put the rock bottom on him. Don't ask why. Chris Alexander, Randy Orton brawling backstage here. Oh, got him. What was Bro Smith want, by the way? And he's got a steel chair in Orton. And, oh, sorry guys, I'm gonna be pausing a lot. Because, like, I have, like, two people texting me at once. Oh, wait, 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 oh, and he takes Orton down. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory. Oh, God. 
Oh my god. Oh. Wait a minute. Chris Alexander's got Orton. Oh, God. Randy Orton got the worst end of that stick. Never know where the action's going to take. All right, hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna be pausing a lot, like I said, because I've I have like a bunch of people texting me at once. But here's the thing, if you have a character that's not on 19, but on 20, like Keith Lee, um, I won't make you download anything, or or him, or whatever. I'll just, like, go over to 20 and have your match on there, or whatever. So basically, I'm doing it on 20, partly as well, but most of the, mostly 19. Mostly. Sorry guys, I know I'm going to be pausing a lot like I said, so don't mind that. It's kind of because I'm texting a few different people at once. Did Bro Smith text me by the way? Here we go. Oh, we just hit Orton with the trash can. My god. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Success breeds success, and he's definitely having some right now. And Orton. Oh, God. Randy the DDT. Staring at him in an RKO. What a move. Alpine drop, big time. How much more punishment needs to be dished out? Just finish it. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. The damage has been done. Oh, the face cluster on the trash can. I don't know. I don't think he truly understood just how dangerous his opposition was heading into this match. Of course, he understands that now. Well, it might be too little or too late. And wait a minute. Oh, no, no. Oh, Jerry T on the chair. Have a seat. Black. Michael, that gives new meaning to you. Have a seat. Shows no mercy. Good God. It looks like a twisted heap. He's making a statement here with this attack. Yeah, let, me get, let me know what you guys think of the attire. Because I, personally, I like it. That's just me, though. The action is officially on the move. No way. Oh, he's got Orton. He's got Randy. Oh, God. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Also, I may have changed my finisher, if I remember. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Oh. Yes, I did change my finisher. That's what I, I thought so. Oh, 
And Chris Alexander has knocked out Randy Orton here backstage. I have one style point. That's all it gave me was a style point. One. A singular style point. This game. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to use it on this. Probably. Yeah, that would probably be best. Anyway, it's time to go to our match, guys. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs. So we got a one on next. one on two handicap match for the US title. What what is Kevin this? Owens. Titles on the line, and here we go. And sorry about my menu screen pose, guys. I I kind of screwed that one up. But anyway. I'll I'll change that soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Chris Alexander. The following contest and here comes the United States Football. champion. And it's for the United States. Uh, anyways, here comes Chris Alexander. Sorry, guys. Like, I have multiple people texting me right now. So, like, I have to keep pausing my game just to, like, get those. Here comes Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And introducing the challenger at a combined weight of 478 pounds, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. With this match being two on one, guys, we might be looking at a nearly impossible situation here. Uh, I like to think of myself as a glass half full type of guy. And let me tell you, a win over two of WWE's top superstars would be amazing. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, U.S. Championship handicap match. Yet again, Triple H is down the deck against Buzz tonight in his two on one U.S. title handicap match. He was able to overcome the odds at Money in the Bank, so I'm willing to bet he can do it again here tonight. He may not have to if KO and Samri are unable to work together. And a co-breaker to KO. Where there's a title on the line. Don't be ridiculous, Cole. Kevin Owens and 
Sami Zayn are professionals. They know what's at stake, and they're not going to let jealousy... Spear and Owens move out of the way. And an no, inverted no, atomic no, drop. And a chop, and he's got Owens down, and the double knees to the back. And another inverted atomic drop. He's got Owens on the top rope. Oh no. And a DDT to, from the top rope. He's gonna have to find a way to fend off the champ here. Well, I don't think his performance here tonight is He's on the top rope. And an elbow drop to cut KO. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can He's got Owens going much pressing him, him down with his knuckle. And oh god. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated. The Super kick to Owens. Oh, no, it's trying to the gut red suplex. And a chop and Chris Alexander win it. Oh, and here you come the stumps. Championship match on my radar for quite some time so far. I think it's safe to say that it hasn't disappointed. No, it definitely hasn't, Michael, which is saying something considering fans' expectations heading into tonight. I can tell you that they saw this as a potential. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Win it. And Owens oh, counters and get it hits him with a German. And the referee starts his 10 count. Don't tag in Sammy, please. Please don't tag in Sammy. Come on. Owens tumbling his head down on the mat. Don't. Come on. Don't. No. Stop. Stop. Don't. No. Oh my god. He's going to tag in. Try to tag in Sammy. Going to easily go top rope against him. Sammy, I'm getting you off this apron, bud. You are not allowed in here. Oh boy, he is rolling. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one. As there are plenty of superstars, Kevin Owens is in position. When this and Owens went for the cannonball. And wait a minute. He's got Owens. Oh. He's really looking to prove a point here. He wants no part of this. The end may be near. Wait a minute. The, no, on the fisherman neck breaker. Went for the pin and Sami Zayn broke it up. Wait a minute. RKO. Out of nowhere by Randy Orton. The RKO. What the hell? And Kevin Owens is the new United States champion. Or should I say Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? Are the new uh, oh United States champion? United States champion. Buzz never had a chance with Orton interfering. It was essentially three on one, four on one. If you include Triple H. My God. Sami Zayn distracted the referee after he broke up the pin, and then Randy Orton comes out of nowhere with an RKO. And he strikes, and he strikes successfully, just like he usually does. Wow. So Triple H really had to help... I had to get Randy Orton to cost me the U.S. title. That's just bullshit. Anyway. Sorry you lost your U.S. title. Not your fault. You're outnumbered. I know you didn't want my, I know you don't want my help, but I'm here for you to want back up. We can't, we can put everything behind us. I don't know about that one. I know you're upset about what happened in the U.S. title match, but no time to worry about that. Leave for big tour of Japan in two days. I have a special surprise for you when we get there. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're going to Japan then. Even though, like, I just lost my U.S. title. Anyway.
But ladies and gentlemen, we are going to Japan. I mean, let me go on. Actually, no, I don't even need to go on Do Not Disturb. I just need to do this. There we go. Oh, I have 10 styles points now. Cool. Okay. Let me go ahead and get to my, uh, my player tree and go ahead and upgrade that as much as I can. Ooh. All right. With that, let's get these two, because they're the only two we can get right now. And then we're going to go ahead and get these four over here. Or, wait, yeah, five, actually. Alright, what do we get? What did we get, by the way? Just out of a double finisher. I'm not gonna equip that though. I don't really need to equip that. I don't know. Oh, I can't prestige yet. Shit, okay. Wait. Am I supposed to prestige though? Wait, I am so confused. Why can't I go over to this side of the my player tree? Because I'm I upgraded everything on Superstar, I'm pretty sure. Main eventer. What the fuck is this shit? I can't even, like... Mmm, <laughs> this is so annoying. I can't even, like, purchase anything there, even though I have, like, three styles points left. So stupid. It's literally the dumbest thing ever. I need to make sure I upgraded everything, though. Yeah, I did upgrade everything. Yeah, I did. Um. Alright, skills and attributes. Skills and abilities. So, if I go to Technician Shooter, I could get Leverage Pin, Catching Finisher, King of Swing, and Apron Superplex. But if I go to Technician UK Strong Style, I could get Remove Turnbuckle, Skull Crushing Big Boo, Apron DDT, Chair Throw, Spinning Back Kick. I think I'm going to go with Technician Shooter. I mean, I know I can't change that, but I'm going to go with it. So, yeah. What did I just get? Pin combo? Hope I did. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Alright, well, anyways, guys, that's that. Now I need to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Daniel. I'm gonna talk to Daniel real quick. So. I'm really looking forward to this trip. Because Triple Why is H that? Is not on it. And I'm excited to see your match against Nakamura, of course. Depending on how that goes, you might have a match at the Dome for our big WWE Network special. That would be amazing. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before all that, I've arranged for you to take on an up-and-coming star from a Japanese promotion. You know, to help shake off any jet lag. I think it'll be well, who more is fun it? if it's a surprise. Oh shit, so he's gonna surprise me with a Jap up-and-coming Japanese superstar. I kind of am starting to wonder who that is, but I kind of have an idea. Well, but I'm not gonna guess right now. Glad you are getting your rest. You are going to need it when you face me in Japan. I heard you personally requested to wrestle me in front of your native fans. Let me just say, it's yes, an honor. It will be an honor. The same with you starting at the right. This man Shinsuke trying to talk shit. Alright, Shin. I see you. 
Did you just see Matt, Bl Matt Bloom in the background? The house that AJ Styles built, then the foundation was constructed in Japan. I learned that the audience there respects traditions like the fighting spirit and hard-hitting matches. And since it's your first trip, you better bring it. Don't worry. I always bring it. Always. There's one bring other it. Japanese tradition that you need to know. On your first trip, you're going to buy all the veterans dinner. Hope you brought your credit card. Get, are you kidding me? A mother fucker, dude. And we see Shane McMahon and Matt, Matt Bloom sitting there in the background. I see, is that Bobby Roode right there behind AJ? I think that is, but I can't tell. So, anyway. Many WWE superstars made their names in Japan before arriving at WWE. This list includes... Oh, I didn't even get to read all of it. Dun, 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 dun. Been creating quite the buzz of his own recently as one of this country's hottest new stars. So I'm excited to see you two face each other for the very first time in Japan. In Japan. We heard Daniel Bryan had a it's Cole... Tonight. And he definitely win. Yeah, for those of you Hell watching yeah. this WWE.com exclusive, get ready to witness something special. To catch everyone Mob up to speed, Cole and Cole Buzz have a long win. history on the indie circuit. Most recently, they invaded NXT with the now disgraced Baron Blade. Since then, Cole's made a name for himself in Japan, while Buzz has done the same on SmackDown Live. By the look on Buzz's face, he probably didn't expect to see his friend in the ring again anytime soon. Nonetheless, we're all lucky to see it happen. I really need to change Cole Quinn's theme song. I'm sorry, guys. It's just a fucking Wyatt family theme song. Rolling back, back to the top. I'm sorry. Hell yeah. My boy Cole Quinn and me having another five-star match. Holy shit. Anyway. Alright, what are we doing? Oh, we have to win by pin or submission. That's all we have to do. And oh, Cole Quinn with a knee. Trying to kick. You trying to kick me, Cole Quinn? I don't think so. I don't think so. I was whipping Cole Quinn off the ropes. Inverted atomic drop and a double leg drop to the to the sacks. Why is it showing me a replay for that? I I, I don't even understand this game sometimes. And a sliding elbow. Cole Quinn with a high knee. Cole Quinn going for an ankle lock. Oh God! Cole Quinn with a DDT to the foot and a kick out by Alexander. And Cole Quinn with a on the knees to the side of the face by Cole Quinn. Oh God! And a knee by Chris Alexander to Cole Quinn. Big boot to the face of Cole Quinn. And now... Oh, and he's kneeing Cole Quinn right in the hamstrings. And for a springboard and missed it. Cole Quinn, wait a minute. Pick some up and up. Plant some down. And an instant kick out by Alexander. And now, and Cole Quinn, wait a minute, and he's just gonna plant him on the, good God.
Now, wait a minute. Oh, and the fisherman's busted a Cole Quinn. Cole Quinn. And a super kick. Chris Alexander wants to fight. He wants to fight for Cole Quinn, and Quinn went for a rolling elbow, and Alexander hit him with a super kick. No, wait a minute. Oh, he's, just, he's gonna. Oh, God. Stop to the back. A shining wizard of Cole Quinn. Wait a minute, he wants Cole Quinn to his feet. No, wait a minute. And the Ushigaroshi. My god, what an Ushigaroshi. Chris Alexander, now he's got Cole Quinn. The Oh, the spinning neck breaker to Cole Quinn and a rope break. And an axe handle to the back of the head. And a hip toss, cartwheel into a knee. You have to get dirty clothes, throw them out here because I'm going to be laundry right now. Alright. Guys, I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, we're back. He's got Chris Alexander is going to the top rope. Elbow but Cole Quinn moved out of the way. Cole Quinn wants Alexander to do his feet. Cole Quinn with a the forearm, elbow. Now getting thrown in the corner. Cole Quinn, oh he goes over under through the middle rope and a kick. A super kick to Cole Quinn. Uh, the Messiah, Chris Alexander, has Cole Quinn on the ropes. And a winner in a springboard roundhouse kick. And now Cole Quinn, uh, Northern Lights, and he. And oh, he was gonna go for a final cut. What is rock bottom? The rock bottom by Chris Alexander. And now the soup. Oh, the brain buster. A backbreaker into a neck breaker. He's got Cole Quinn, the air raid crash neck breaker. One, two, and no, Chris Alexander doesn't want to end it like that. Elbow and Cole Quinn moved out of the way, and a single leg drop kick by Cole Quinn. Cole Quinn throws him out of the ring. Clotheslines him out of the ring, I mean. 
Alexander gets up. Goes back inside the ring. And a spear to Cole Quinn. He's got Cole Quinn. No. And Cole Quinn. Wait a minute. Tiger suplex by Quinn. Went Chris Alexander with a couple of clotheslines. Ducks underneath Cole Quinn and a super kick. He's got Cole Quinn again. Another air raid, air raid crash neck breaker. The million dollar dream. Cole Quinn gets out of it though. He's got Cole Quinn in the lifting inverted DDT. And a sad Tom, but Cole Quinn moved out of the way. And no Ushigoroshi by Cole Quinn. And Cole Quinn. And Chris Alexander gets out of it. And Cole Quinn with a German suplex. And a kick out. And Cole Quinn. No, where? Oh! And Chris Alexander with the strikes to Cole Quinn. And he's got Cole Quinn. The million dollar dream. The million dollar dream to Cole Quinn. Cole Quinn gets out of it again. And Quinn gets countered. And another brain buster by Chris Alexander. My God, and a moon salt to Cole Quinn. And, and, oh no, wait a minute. He went for the area, crashed that breaker. And Cole Quinn with a counter of his own. And the Ushigoroshi by Quinn. Knee to the back. Now Cole Quinn. And a knee to the arm. Of Chris, Alex Chris Alexander. And the kick out by Alexander. And Cole Quinn. Wait a minute. Cole Quinn. He's got him up. Oh my god! What an air raid bomb by Cole Quinn. And Chris Alexander kicks out. Goes for another cover. Alexander again kicks out. And Cole Quinn's got his arm. Chris Alexander gets out of it immediately. Oh, God. He's got Cole Quinn again. You're a crushed neck breaker. He's got Cole Quinn in the million dollar dream once again. And Cole Quinn has to tap out. Cole Quinn has to tap out. Chris Alexander made Cole Quinn tap out with the million dollar dream. It's the Ushigoroshi 
Counter, super kick. There's the airy crash neck breaker. Cole Quinn got out of the first million dollar dream. Blah, blah. What started in high school gyms in the U.S. has now added a new chapter in Japan. This is truly a special moment. And this is only our first night here. We will get to see Buzz versus Nakamura. And then there's the WWE Network special from the Dome. I'd do this for free. Don't give him any ideas, Byron. Thanks again for joining us from Japan for this WWE.com exclusive. You said you had a successful Japanese debut last night. But tonight, you face the king of song style in his kingdom. And you will be lucky to go back to America with all your teeth. Does it really say all that? More or less. This man shouldn't skate. <laughs> okay. I like how in this game on like 2K18, I like how this game actually you like like actually the characters voice their characters and the my career and all that stuff. That's what I like about this my career. It's pretty cool actually the way they did that. Gentlemen, here comes the Messiah himself, Chris Alexander. Here comes Shinsuke Nakamura.
Hello there, Lime the Bot. Uh, you know, some of that 2K19 my career, you know what I mean? Because why not? Uh, I kind of, I got to the Royal Rumble and I kind of got stuck, so I said screw it and I'll just, and then I just went to 19 and did that. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you have to start from like, you have to start from like number one. And like last of the whole damn thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 20s, 20s my career isn't that bad, but like in terms of gameplay, it's probably the worst game. But like, it is, it is extremely long. Shinsuke, get your ass up. D damn it, Shinsuke. Shinsuke. No, I forgot I did that to him. Oh, I forgot I did that to Shinsuke. Yes, and I put a low blow on Shinsuke as a signature. Get Chasa. Never mind, you thought. Oh my god, I just got low blowed by Shinsuke. Shinsuke. Get the hell off me. Uh, ow. Okay, okay, Shinsuke, I get it. You're trying to beat me and it's not working well for you. I get it. Shinsuke, you're not doing that either. No, I pressed the wrong button. Oh no, low blow again, ow. 
my giblets. Noku driver. Power slam. Crap. Yes, come on. Come on. Drift away. Oh my god, rope breaks are so fucking annoying.
And I just got low blowed for the five, like fifth time. God damn it. Yeah, and I put a low blow on him, and I, and I keep getting low blowed. Oh, you're that part. <laughs> Shit. King shot son. Damn it. And I get it resiliency again. And now he's gonna dirty pin me. Really, Shinsuke? Shinsuke. Get up. Yes. Signature. Ah. Yes. Tap out. There, I just tapped out Shinsuke, finally. What? I have the million dollar dream as a finisher. Okay. And the drift away. But, I don't... Fucking... Ow. Just got fucking low blowed by Shinsuke like 50 times. Talk about making an impression on your first tour of Japan. Not only was Buzz able to pull out a victory, he Man, did Chris it. Alexander, how do your nuts feel? That's impressive. How do your nuts feel? Like, I gotta ask you that. No, oh, Shinsuke, what do you what do you want? What do you gotta say? You may have gotten that win tonight. But next time, it ends definitely. Need to face. We hope you enjoyed this WWE.com exclusive. Be sure to join us tomorrow on the WWE Network as we bring you a huge special event live from Japan. Then, well, hey, go get your wrestling gear on. Why? I thought I didn't have a match tonight on the network special. After what I saw you do against Cole Quinn and then Shinsuke, you do now. I'm changing the scheduled AJ Styles versus Nakamura match to a triple threat, and you're the third participant. So I get to wrestle at the dome on the network special tonight? Yes, but not if you don't get ready. So go now, go. Oh hell yeah! He gets Russell in Japan's An dome. Opportunity like this doesn't come the network special. Often. Not only because of where we are, but because of the circumstances. Triple H isn't here to try and hold you down. Owens and Zayn can't interfere. You control your destiny tonight. It's your chance to show the world live on the WWE Network that you belong in the main event picture on SmackDown. Thanks for giving me the you can chance, thank me Daniel. By going out there and having the best match of your career. Hell yeah, I can. Hello, AJ. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little disappointed that my big singles match with Shinsuke Nakamura has now changed to a triple threat match with a rookie. 
Well, then you're really going to be disappointed when you lose crazy. to a rookie. I may be from Georgia, but the legend of AJ Styles was born in the Dome. So there's no way I'm going to be upstaged by you or Nakamura. Oh, and don't forget, you still need to buy everyone dinner. How about after the show? Be a nice way to celebrate my big win. If you didn't understand last night, I'll say it again. Tonight, knee to face. This man, Shinsuke. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go fight Shinsuke and Daniel Bryan at the dome, or Shinsuke and AJ at the dome. What the fuck am I saying? Oh god. Let's see. No, uh, no, main superstars name their names in Japan or before arriving in WWE. This list includes AJ Styles, Chris Jericho, Shinsuke Nakamura, Asuka, and Finn Balor. Okay. Well. Here comes Shinsuke, the man that low blowed me 50 times, but I still beat him. Just gonna skip his entrance. And nothing. And here, and here comes AJ Styles. This man. Dang. Here comes the phenomenal AJ Styles. Here, AJ Styles, Chris Alexander, and Shinsuke Nakamura to triple threat match. Get Nakamura to red health while in the ring. Got it. I have to get Shinsuke to red health. and half suplex to Nakamura. He's got AJ in a drop kick to the back. It's spinning back to Shinsuke's midsection. Puts over. Oh, and the diced bread. J Styles phenomenal blitz. And uh oh
And a slingshot spear to AJ Styles. He's got Nakamura. Oh god. A suplex by Styles. Shinsuke Nakamura with a German suplex. Oh, and a springboard barrel rope tope to AJ Styles. He got Styles. Wait a minute. Air raid crash neckbreaker to the phenomenal one. And he's got Nakamura. Oh, and the attack from behind. Where? In the. Oh, and he got Shinsuke with the driftwood. Shinsuke gets back up in the. Combo by Shinsuke. Styles with a Styles with a phenomenal forearm. But Chris Alexander tossed Styles out of the ring and beat Shinsuke again. I'd say it's a career to find a Japanese tour. He deserves to celebrate. Buzz capitalized on an opening to pin Nakamura. Capitalize is a nice way to put it. He stole the win from AJ. Wow. Coming from AJ, AJ in Japan. That means a lot. AJ Apparently offering the two sweet. If these two have formed an alliance, that could have huge repercussions going forward. Without a doubt. Well, that does it for us from the Dome in Japan. Thank you so much for those of you who woke up early to catch... Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. What a match by... What a match by Chris Alexander, Shinsuke Nakamura, and AJ Styles here in the Dome of Japan. Daniel Bryan was in press with Cole Quinn in Japan. Cole X wrestling overseas. That one doesn't want to leave anytime soon. Bet. Bet Cole Quinn. Bet. Anyway. Go to SmackDown Live. I have two messages. One from Baron Blade. One from Cole Quinn. Got up early to watch your match with AJ Nakamura from Japan. Unbelievable. Times are tough right now. I can barely afford the WWE Network, but I wouldn't miss that for anything. Proud of you, Buzz. Buzz San, so cool facing you in Japan. Never thought that would happen when we were travel wrestling in high school parking lots. Safe travels back to the States. Definitely. Definitely, Cole Quinn. Oh, yeah, I have nine styles points, and I can't even use any of them unless I use them on the sub-style sub tree that I'm using it on. So, it's leverage pain. Okay. What's that now? Catching finisher. Oh, okay.
All right, overcharge tree. Let's go ahead and upgrade the electricity payback. All right, guys, well, we're going to go ahead and go to SmackDown Live. Next week, bet. How are you feeling after right, your trip? A little jet lag? Yeah, a little. I mean, can't complain though. Look, I just wanted to say maybe I could have shown you a little bit more respect in the past. You obviously proved in Japan that you deserve it. Hey, don't worry about it. I know you got the whole rookie treatment when you first got to WWE too. I definitely did. Maybe I was just doing the same thing to you without even thinking about it. We're cool now, though, right? I don't know why John Cena is here, but I do know that Buzz will be in John action. John Cena's here. On SmackDown Live. Chris Alexander's facing Aiden English. Nice. The superstar known as Buzz is here. Here comes Chris Alexander. I'm just going to skip the entrances, not even going to lie. And here's a English. No one fucking cares. Anyway. Hard to be a many man on this one. These two competitors Spear. can be unpredictable. English counters. That's what makes this match so intriguing. Settling English counters again. English with a clothesline. Chris Alexander with a punch. in the DDT no oh oh, oh. he stomped to in English he's got an English DDT and a fisherman's buster Good God. Now he's got English again and a Oh, and there's the brain buster. English is starting to slow some. He's gonna need to find a way to fire back. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. I know it's Oh, and a full Nelson face buster to Aiden English. Let's see how he reacts here. And now the Oh God! Aiden English turns it around. Uh oh! This isn't gonna be pretty. Vertical suplex. Nice. He's starting to show. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. He's gonna take more than that. In a scared of English. That'll do it every time. What a stop! Good grief! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Right, he's, he's got English. Oh! Uh oh, Aiden English is. 
is in trouble now. Not English. He's got to capitalize now. Oh man, Aiden English is in trouble now. And English gets out of it. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Caught him with a big boot. English with a big boot. And a schoolboy. One, two, in English. And a kick out. And a kick out. Still a lot more fight left. Drop kick in in Aiden English countered. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the evolution of Aiden English. For a while, it appeared as though he might be pegged as a tag team specialist. Oh. He can also go on his own. What a stop! Good grief! Oh, that's great. We're going to win that. Thank you. Hey, Dinklage is taking a beating. He could be out any moment now. He's absolutely running on fumes right now. As Michael alluded to, Aiden English was great as one half of the Mont Villains. The duo even oh, captured oh, the NXT oh, tag oh, team oh, titles. Oh. But oh. English has proven that there's more to him than just tag teams. Oh, you're right, Byron. He's since become WWE's greatest. Wait a minute. Uh oh What do they have in mind? Nearing the beginning of the end. He's got English. This is gonna also no English counter. Oh boy, he and in English. Wait a minute. Oh! And a kick out. Aiden English may get this, folks. What is harsh impact? Aiden English is in a bad way. No question, he's feeling invincible right now. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less. It's for like, him. Uh, oh. And, and a roll to English. Roll up. Two. And English kicks out again. And a sleeper hold into a neck breaker. Oh boy, he is. He can't take much more. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his son. Wait a minute. Oh. And Aiden English counters again. Whoa, Aiden English able to avoid damage. Uh, oh, and a counter. First out, and a inverted atomic drop. And a double leg drop. He's in trouble. He's looking shaky. This could be the end. He wants it one more time. I always got English. Smart maneuver. Just when you thought he had nothing left. In case you're keeping score, that's twice by him. And he taps us. A million. On performance. My God. What a tribute there to Ted DiBiase. And wait a minute. Now we know why John Cena is here tonight. Now we know why. Cena might not be a fan of the drama king, but my guess is it has more to do with wanting to get a closer look at SmackDown Live's hottest superstar, Buzz.
And John Cena is here. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. At least not yet. <laughs> I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. I'm laughing because of you like John Cena's voice in this game. On the indies. You gotta see this guy who invaded NXT and stuck it to Triple H. You gotta see this guy who won the US title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. Hmm. I wonder where he got that idea. You gotta see this guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura and AJ Styles in the dome of all places. Now most people would get caught up in all that, but not me. You see, I've been around for a while and so many times I've heard all the buzz and then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? Oh my god. I still can't believe... Well, this might come across as arrogant, but I believe I measure up to every bit of the hype. No, oh, that's good. You should be confident in yourself. But I also understand it's one of those need to experience it firsthand to believe it sort of things so if you truly want to find out if i measure up how about you and me go one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam? after that all your questions will be answered all right bet let's do it Oh shit. So we better go one on one with John Cena at SummerSlam. That's going to be interesting. First, I beat AJ and Nakamura, two big stars, and now I'm going to go one on one with John Cena. Nice. Nice if one. Anyone knows anything Here's about having a Randy Orton, what do you want WWE? to say? It's me. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded these days, is it? No, now you get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. That is my spot. And here comes your boy, Chris Alexander. Look, I could give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one reason why you're not facing Cena. Because we've seen that match over and over and over again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting, not Cena versus Orton Part 589. I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Well, yeah? Well, I do. And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the US title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You versus me, right now! What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? 
Or do you want another handout? Ooh, hoo -hoo. All right. To prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an RKO. All right, Randy, you really want to do this, don't you? You really want to do this. You know what? We'll do this. I'll beat you. And I'll prove why I'm a lot better than you, Randy. You washed up Hall of Famer, well, not a Hall of Famer, a future Hall of Famer, though, I'd say. But you washed up piece of garbage. Get Randy to Red Health. Bicycle need a Orton. This isn't where he wants to be, guys. He needs to get back the inside that Orton thing. counters. Oh, nasty impact. Bringing it back into the ring. I know. Oh, he's got Orton's arm. And a still God. He's going for it all. Stomp to the arm of Randy Orton. Oh, and an elbow to the back of Orton. Orton with a clothesline in the corner. And a rock bottom to Orton. Sometimes momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. The good news for him is that he has got an target atomic drop. This point, but that can obviously all change here. Actually, yeah. And oh. 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 And, and a GDT to Orton. Oh, 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 and the stomps to Orton. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. This match is so Oh, and he's got him in the... Oh, and the blow to the back of Randy Orton's head. Oh, God, and he's fixed the face of Orton. Oh, and he's... Forearm smashes the Orton's face. Oh, man. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Wait a minute, he's got Orton where he wants him. And he's got Orton. Go! He's looking good now, guys. He might have it. And he's got Orton. Just what? No! Orton! RKO by Orton! Randy Orton with an RKO! And a kick out! He kicked out of the RKO, but Orton's going for another pinfall. And another kick out! God. Orton with another pinfall. And another kick out! Uh, can you go get it and come back? Yeah, what do you want? Mm, I guess, uh, I guess Taco Bell's fine. Taco Bell? What do you want? Mm, 
I'd say like a quesarito or something. Oh, European uppercut by Orton, and the inverted atomic drop to Orton. And the, oh God! This could be big. And he's got Orton into the oh, and into the turnbuckle and a scoop slam to Orton. And Triple H is here with a sledgehammer and AJ Styles. AJ Styles. This is career suicide. Some people value. AJ Styles. Orton went for the RKO. People are idiots. <laughs> Suplex. He's looking Suplex by Orton. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. It's make or break time here. He absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive. It's Spear! Can he finish? Down they go. Oh, oh it's over. This is and, oh, his chance. Orton had momentum and Chris Alexander just stopped it right there in its tracks. Oh, and the spear to Orton. See if he takes the bait. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. And the the oh. The Viper getting absolutely pounded and the, right now. the air raid crash neck breaker. What does Buzz have in store? And he's got Orton. Win. The million dollar dream. The million dollar dream to Orton. And Orton taps out to the million dollar dream. He had it locked up and made his opponent tap out. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's There's the area crash neck break in the million dollar dream that made Randy Orton tap out. win right there you know nothing made me happier than when I'd lock in lucky 13 and make my opponents tap out Jeff you gotta do me a favor if I'm not back by 140 Take the clothes and put them in the dryer, okay? All right. There's the quarters. Don't forget, because I, I need to work. Hey, thanks right. for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, mm -hmm. I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. I saw what you did out there tonight. That took some guts to put your match with me on the line. Honestly, I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't be where I am if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out, and no matter what obstacles are put in front of me, I never give up. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have. And we'll continue to do so until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? <laughs> like I said, I don't play things safe. So you got it. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm gonna make you tap. 
Oh my god, right, a summer on, slam. Are you sure that was the right decision? <laughs> no, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. Yes, we do need to learn some more submission moves. I mean, we got that million dollar dream that uh, hey, makes everyone tap like out like before, a light. I got your back but... in the pay per view, just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is. I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm going to beat Cena in this submission match. I mean, I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my, stand up. I'll show it to you. Awesome. I owe you one. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. Yep. <laughs> all right then. All right then, guys. Um. That's going to be into the stream. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys liked it. I, I did. I enjoy this my career so far. It's kind of better than 2K18s, not going to lie. Not that I didn't enjoy 18s, but... I mean, I enjoyed it a little, but still. Um. Yeah, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next... In part, what, six? Anyways. Deuces. Oops, almost forgot to...